Hello and welcome to Infinity. Today we're going to have a look at the Threshold tool, which is very simple and sometimes very useful. So where can we get it? Down here, got the adjustments and we click on that and then go up to Threshold. And uh, that has gone completely white for the moment. I'm just going to turn this off for the moment so we just can't see it just to show that here we have a histogram across here which is the same as the histogram up here which represents this picture. One of the things to note with histograms is watch out for peaks like this. There's a peak here, there's a bit of a peak here, a bit of a peak here. See if you can figure out where that is in the picture. So this one down here is probably this sign. There's a large area of this greyish colour and that could well be it. That peak there, a bit lighter, maybe the ground down here. And this one at the end, a little bit of a spike. At the brighter end could well be the writing. So let's play with this. Let's turn it on again now so we can just see that. When you start off, it's at the bottom, which is everything white. But as you turn up here, the picture starts to appear, but it's going to be in pretty much hard black and white. And as you move it up, you'll to tend to find a point where it kind of comes together and it's recognizable as a picture but then as you keep going things go blacker and blacker and blacker and eventually disappear. The way it works is that on this slider everything to the left of the slider is going to be black, everything to the right of the slider is going to be white. So if we take this spike here then when we're down here if this is the sign it's all white looks like it is and if we move this up as it gets past the sign so now it's past that sign there so it's to the left of it so it's going to be black and the writing on it if it's up here is going to stay white so we can get to see the sign quite clearly so that gives us a useful bit of information much as we go up here see that we're now to the left of this little peak here so this is still white go a bit further beyond it and that goes dark and then there's the right at the end and we go past the peak here, this little peak, and that finally vanishes. But if we find a kind of useful point, and sometimes you'll do that, you'll find a point, particularly if you've got faces and people in, you don't want the face to be burnt out and you don't want it to be uh, blacked out. So somewhere in the middle where shadows on the face um, are visible, glasses and things like that, so that's probably okay. And you can use this now. So let's have a look at the blend modes we can do with this and see we can, what can happen. So here we've got the blend modes here and we can literally scan through them. So let's turn them on and let's go down through. So when you get to darken, it's going to take the darkest of the top and the bottom. So in other words, where it's black, it's going to take the threshold one and where it's not black, it's going to take the original picture. This in itself provides quite a, an interesting um, thing. We'll come back to this in a minute. Lighten goes the other way. So, and effectively, it's, it's a kind of reverse of the darken, in which so everything to the right of this is going to be take the white from the, the threshold, and everything below it, so all the darker things are going to be in colour from the original picture. And we can slide this up. Yeah, until we find sort of, you know, maybe there's an interesting point at which we can find it. So it's going to be more interesting up here, isn't it? And see the way you start to split faces as, as it finds points in the shadows. So uh, a third one that's just of interest is down here, soft light. When you get to soft light, let's just zoom in this chap here. So you can see what you're doing here, you're getting a kind of cartoon effect and as you move up and down on it you're changing that effect on the face and you see things become a little bit more you know, solider blocks of colour. Um, you can also play with the opacity and so you can slide that down that starts to go back to normal and see if that makes anything useful. Just for a moment as well let's go back and try that darken and if we go again back to our interesting point down here again what we get now is this sort of painting effect and again if we 
hit here with the over opacity and uh, there we go start to move down because it gets more transparent you can see the dark glass is there you start to see through that and it can becomes a little bit more just of an effect on the face so you can play with the opacity play with the threshold itself where that goes get it an interesting point of shadows look for the color effect it have and then you can get an interesting picture overall so there we go that's the threshold control tool hope you found that interesting and thank you very much for watching